food very important. Recently we tell you about the lockdown and how it stress out families and cause a lot of abuse of children in the house. But one of the things that we will now examine is the effect on food and the habits of the population. We look upon food like why well, you're hungry, so you just eat some food. Or you just feel to eat something, so you just yam anything. You go up on the road, the way the system set up, you know, people don't have no time to think about food. They have a time to think, so they're hungry, so they have to get something in their belly. And the nearest thing to them is one of them fast food places. Or even the people them on the road who are sell. You no, know, it's a problem. It's a problem because what we see happening, there's a lot of sickness that is overcoming the population. Where the doctor don't know is what? Doctor don't know is what? All the matter is tell you, say, you know, you better hurt you, take this tablet and go home and rest little. That don't solve nothing. It don't solve nothing. And because we're not inclined to understand the body enough, we take anything what the doctor say. No, I tell you, don't go to the doctor. I just say that there are certain things that is unnecessary. You have to keep a track of where you eat. And if you're the one where you run up and down all over the place, you're not going to keep a track of it. So when something happens, when you start to feel certain way and things, you start to feel dizzy, you can't figure out what is it that causes you to get dizzy. So you run to a doctor, and the doctor gives you something and says, go on, go do it. Watch out. The doctor not get rid of disease, you know. Them suppress it, but them not get rid of it. Anytime you get tablet and all them something there, it not get rid of your, your blood pressure or your diabetes. It's not suppress it for a little while and then you have to take another one every 24 hours. Or them go to say, take one three times daily. We need to take care of what we eat in. Your mouth, your mouth is a big problem to your system. And really and truly, Jamaican people especially, don't bother business about what they might eat. Because if you tell them about vegetarian things, they might say, why that too expensive and expensive? The doctor are more expensive than the vegetarian dinner. Because why you have to say no, the, 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 the vegetarian thing is expensive? Check when you go to the doctor now. Doctor and, and Marga make more money than anybody else and liar. We need to take a stock of what we eat, it, what we're putting into our body. That is really something where even, the, I mean, Rastafari has been doing it for years and we get licked feet too. Because people are talking about yam yam food without salt, yam yam pure vegetable and all these things that can't, them want them pork. And uh, he, he, people all mock rust about it. But rust, I eat pork, pork nice, you know. Yeah, pork nice, but wait to you. Sweet to your mouth and bitter to the belly. We can't keep doing that. We need to even associate yourself with the agro industry. Or we can help to not throw away certain food when it is enough. Like the other day when we have enough mango. You know how much mango waste? If we have a system of agro-industry where we can set the mango in a way that when mango is the boat, you still have mango. And that are up on a small scale, not enough for the population to, to really gather something from it. How we can see these things? Because we have a system of government where they no business with that. They might import everything because they might look money and they might export the good. Food, because them can't send certain food go foreign. So them left the bad food that's for you and send it go foreign for, 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 for make money. In terms of country, I produce food and you see them export more than them import. Or them import the food that we have. Just like how them import ganja the other day. You know, there's something wrong. Something wrong. When you have franchise of American fast food restaurants, all over the place. You know, there's something wrong. 
because we didn't have food where our grandmother used to eat and now we come trying to eat it but it's full of so much pesticide so much so poison with some of the poison them banned in America and our government have it done so and put it in the food for feed the people them we need to take a stock of where we are eat because your mouth is the problem sometimes not only because you talk too much but because you put something in there where it affects your whole body give thanks <laughs>